guys. Looking forward to having you join me again today at Mucka's Corner. Hoping that you're going to have a lot of fun. So I'm going to go around to uh, my spot to sit down and then I'll tell you about what you will need to make today's craft. So I'm so glad to see all of you. This is a really fun craft and it's really easy to do. Um, we are going to make a painting and um, you are going to need um, a container to put your to put some squeeze some paints colored paints in you are going to need um, a couple of toys that have wheels on them so I have chosen this one you probably know where that's from and this little one okay and so with that you are also going to need two or three colors of paint depending on what you want to do with it. A piece of paper, so it can be cardstock, it can be uh, just computer paper, it can be um, construction paper, anything that uh, you would like, you can use. Um, it can even be colored paper if you want to use that too. Um, as I said, construction paper works nicely with this too. So. I believe that's everything. Uh, probably paper towels might be wise too. And just a reminder to please cover your workspace. Uh, very important so that if you do make a spill, you don't have to worry about it. It cleans up beautifully. All right, off you go. Wash your hands and gather up all the things that you're going to need. See you in just a few minutes. All right, you are back. That's wonderful. So, hello to uh, Scarlett and Jake and Max and Jane and Olivia and Thaddeus. So nice to see all of you. I wish I could be there with you that we could do this all together. But this is a nice way to do it too. And this way we all stay safe and healthy and we can just do it in our own homes. So let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is choose your colors of paint. And remember, shake them up. Shake them away from your face, open them up, and squeeze them out into your little container. Okay, I've already done that, and I've chosen three colors, actually uh, left over from another craft that I was doing with you. So I am all ready to roll with my uh, little cars. So I have my piece of paper down flat in front of me. Okay, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to tip mine up so that you can see what I'm actually doing. But I'm going to go into the paint and I'm going to roll the whole wheels into the paint. So make sure that you um, use toys that you don't mind getting paint on. Now you can wash them off afterwards, but you don't want to get the paint up inside. So this one's a really good one to use. So what I'm going to do with it is I'm just going to start Racing along with it. And this makes a lot of fun. Just going anywhere I want with it. Zigzag, circles, whatever. It's pretty well run out for that. So I'm going to set it aside. And then I'm going to take my little one and I'm going to roll it into the colors. And let's see what happens with this. So I'm going to go up and down with this one. Oh, cool sideways and when you start running out of paint on the wheels then go back in roll into them to another color here roll them oh let's see I want to go this way oh pretty so you may have some favorite cars or whatever that you want to do this with. And it only takes a few minutes to do it. And look, isn't that cool? Look at that painting. So you go ahead and try and you say, wow, what can I do with this? Well, maybe you could put this up in your window. Maybe you could put a, make it a background for a sign that says, um, Thank you, healthcare workers, and put it up in your window. Um, maybe you would like to put it into a card. 
or use it for wrapping paper or um, use it as a placemat. Maybe um, when you're playing with your, your dishes and your toys, maybe this is something that um, you can use as roads um, when you're playing uh, with your cars. All kinds of things, and I'm sure you can think of many more things that you can use this for. But this is really fun, really easy, and just a reminder that when you are done, make sure that you wash your car's wheels, wash the whole things, okay, so that they're nice and clean, alrighty, and that um, so that you can use them again however you want to use them and you won't have to worry about uh, the paint being stuck on them. So make sure you wash them up really well and make sure you uh, clean up your space and wash your own hands. And I'll look forward to seeing you the next time for another craft. Love you guys, take care. Be safe, stay home. Bye.